delighted to, to end the season with a victory, but it hasn't had the effect that he wanted it to. No, it hasn't, no, and I've got to congratulate the lads and, and, and winning a, 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 a tough game. But they've, they've come up short, so we're disappointed about that. Um, but listen, we're a young group and we'll get better. <coughs> be very pleased with the quality of the goal scored today. It was a terrific run, a uh, terrific move, but wasn't it? Good thing by Ken Hennings as well. Oh, yeah, it's a cracking goal. <coughs> hey guys, a bit of a coffee. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a cracking goal. We're delighted with the way it was executed. It's something that we thought we wanted to do. It was it's something that we do a lot in training, so to see it get executed at the end, we're delighted with that. But this is a bit of a hollow victory for all of us, but we can do no more than try and win more game. And we're a very young group, there's six or seven of them that's now played 100 league games, and the nucleus of the squad will be here again for next season. So the structure behind the scenes is, is, is better than it's ever been. So it's all there for Tramia just to keep growing now, um, keep adding to, to, to this young group who undoubtedly will learn from the experiences of this year. Was that a key in the end that in you know, nine days without a win, wasn't it, before today on your travels and then you've got it today? Yeah. Is, it, is it the younger players? I mean, is that sort of part of the mentality that they have to learn for next season if you're going to improve? Well, it's not, I mean, we've got to be careful about the nine games. It's no nine defeats, but certainly there was moments in away games where we allowed the game to run away from us, maybe with a wee bit of lack of experience, but you seem what they're capable of doing. You're, you're only, you, you've got to judge people on the last game. And today they showed all the qualities it was necessary in order to try and get results on the road. And uh, we, we, we did that really well today. Great response from the fans again. I mean, even on the last day here, they've come a long, long way, haven't they? You know, and a, a real reward for them. We've been travelling up and down the country all season. Well, we've let the away fans do this year. We, we, we continually kept saying that. They've been fabulous. The home fans we haven't let down, but the ones who travel up and down, at times we haven't showed the qualities necessary in order to try and gain the results, even one, we were one result short, but um, listen, it's a good squad, it's a good group of players, Tramir will always be a fantastic football club, that's for sure, uh, that will never change, and we'll just uh, reflect and come over um, what's happened this season, and undoubtedly we'll, we'll add the players that we believe that can, can uh, make us fill the gaps, if you like, that was needed in order to try and get into the, the, the shake-up. You talk about the, the squad and building for next season. Have you got a clear view in your mind already about what you need to do and, and how you do need to change things? Well, the way you, the, this football club's work now, that's been done for six months now. They're way, way ahead now. Um, there's already so many uh, opportunities out there for us to bring in players that we believe can make things better. But, and we've already been hard at work at that because we've got James Vaughan here now. And like I say, the chairman um, and Nicola in place. So there's so much to be pleased about moving forward. We're well, sorry that we feel that we've, we haven't been able to do that, that little bit of a last step and, and get us into the playoffs, because undoubtedly with the, the talent that we have, we would have been a force in the playoffs. But we'll learn with lessons, and there was a lot of things along the way that never went away, like everybody will say refereeing decisions and, and key injuries at, at, at important times. Everybody can say that, but I think that we could point to certain moments in games where we've been undone by... by sort of refereeing decisions and, and injuries at, at key moments. I know you always look close at yourself, Mickey, before you look at anything else. Any particular thing you've learned, you know, with missing out on the players this time round because Tram have had so much success in them in the past? Yeah, because it's the first time we've not been to play us for years. <laughs> so it's, that'll be a new experience for me because I've been in the, uh, the shake-ups for the last I don't know how many years. But like I said, I, I've got to be really fair and really careful. It's a really young and experienced group. Yeah, like Nevitz just came in and you go through the whole team, Hawks and, and uh, the likes of O'Connor and uh, Lewis Warrington, even Cogley. Th th these guys haven't even played 100 league games, so although we're disappointed, it's, it's, it's not undoubtedly a bright future for, for Tramier. We just need to add uh, to it now and keep building on it and, and undoubtedly we'll be a force again when uh, the season gets going again. And obviously the experienced players have been important as well, you know, Peter Clark is usually leading to the front. You know, Jay Spearing, Joe Murphy of course has played a, a big part for you this season as well. I mean, their futures anything decided as yet? Yeah, but we'll have to, we, we, we have had talks behind the scenes and we wouldn't be so unprofessional just to decide on that, what we're going to do today. But what we'll, 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 we'll try and do is, is, is make sure that we put together a, a squad that can be a real force again next season, because we're expected to do that and, and I'm the first to say that. We, we, we should be in the shake-up 
um, and we just have come up a wee bit short this year but we'll build on what we've done this year and, and, and um, push things on uh, for next season. And obviously not satisfied the way it's ended Mickey but you think about the start of the season how many players you had in contract and how you had to build from there and to be in the shape of, on the final day, I mean, I know you were second at one stage, but even so, you know, that, that's, that's some achievement. Yeah, but listen, I'm, my first, I'm, I'm saying that we're disappointed, that's for sure. So don't end up thinking that I'm not disappointed. I, I am, I'm, 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 I'm gutted. But if you look at the factors involved, and, and, and we, we're going to draw the positives, it, absolutely. We had, we had a poor little spell of about five or six games, I think, but Portville was in the middle, and they lose a last minute equaliser in that mm -hmm. two two away games at Newport and Northampton where we, we just didn't compete and that was a big learning curve for us we, we didn't get going we lost away to Walsall at penalty kick and an own goal at Hartley and maybe moments started to go against us but it, so they regrouped and I think they've only, they've only lost two games in the last 11 I think it is so there's, they did show the character necessary and they did came back and we had a right good go at it but we set the targets, so we have to win the last two games. They've gone and done that as well. We had a wee poke in a product I'm a bit more away from, which hasn't been good enough, that's for sure. And they went out today and responded and got an important victory today and showed all the qualities that we poked and prodded them about in order to try and move the group on because that's the necessary character that you've got to show to try and get results today all the time. And just a word about Kane Hemmings, I've talked about his goal today, but I think it's eight goals, six assists since he came in. I mean, that's a, that's a decent return, isn't it? You know, oh, he's, been a, he's been a good player for us. He's, he's came into things and, and added to it. And he'll get better and better as we get to know him more. So that's encouraging. So, no, we're, we're moving on. And, and like I say, there, there, there isn't, it isn't going to be that you've only got three players left at the start of the season, which is always difficult to try and grow a group from three. So we're a wee bit we're, we're way ahead of that now. And, and we can build on upon what we have um, in the right way in order to, uh, to make things better for, for next season. And can you enjoy the end of the season now or, or, or is it just sort of deep breath and, and start preparing again? Well, you, we, we have to get gone again, that, that, that's for sure, but I don't know, it'll all be a bit of reflection now and, and Coleman my in performance as well and, and all the time try to learn and get better and see where I may have done things better or, or where I, I, I'm absolutely sure that I'm on the right track with this group in order to try and win more games and just reinforce that now. But um, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm disappointed we haven't made that last step. But pl proud of the boys that they've, they've won the last two games. Apologise to the away fans that, that so many tough trips, because we had them ourselves in away games over the course of the season. That's probably absolutely been the reason why we're known the shake-up. But um, we, we've seen it at the end, we're, we're a fabulous football club. And, and the connection between us all was, was great at the end there. Um, and I'm just sorry that we weren't able to do that more from this season. But the home form's been fabulous. If we could have got anywhere near half replicating that uh, away from home, we'd have been having a different conversation now.